Good morning, friends. Um, today is going to be a potentially kind of busy-ish day. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I'm going to show you my finished finished hand spun yarn, um, and then maybe we'll do some projects in a bit. And but my morning, I've got to make some breakfast, and then uh, do my yoga and my morning routine. I'll be doing some Pilates this morning. Mm, and some house cleaning. <laughs> so I've got um, just a, a nice morning of activity before I go on to work this afternoon. Um, yeah, so I'll take you along with me. Bit of a slow start this morning, but we're up and at them now. So I've got my breakfast of eggs and Korean pears. And throughout Vlogmas, you probably will notice that my water is going to be uh, fun colored, um, unlike usual, just because I've been noticing I'm very dehydrated lately and I am trying to do a better job of trying to trick myself or encourage myself into drinking more water. So fun flavors might help me. Okay, a little bit of a check-in. Um, I've been cleaning and do, making phone calls for the last couple hours, so now I'm gonna do Pilates. <laughs> it's now after lunch. I wanted to do Pilates before lunch, but that's okay. Um, the dogs are happy to be alive. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do Pilates in the bedroom today instead of in the gym, just because, um, I don't know, it's warmer in here. <laughs> And um, I just cleaned the master suite this morning, so um, it's nice and clean. Um, if you notice the suitcases, those are so Obi doesn't get on the bed with us at night <laughs> in the middle of the night. So we've got one over there too. Um, yeah, he will definitely try to sneak on the bed with us. And he is not a good co-sleeper. So he has, uh, he, he has been banished to the dog beds at night <laughs> because... Yeah, he he's not a very good co-sleeper. Um, he's too floppy, and he runs in his sleep, which is disruptive. So I'm gonna do some Pilates, and then um, probably, yeah, make some coffee and get ready to go to the office. hold it all together. Um, it smells really good and I'm pretty excited about it. I'm very hungry. Okay, so I am really feeling the urge to do more spinning. <laughs> so, um, I might start on this guy tonight, but I really do need to do work on my niece's
Okay, I just spent way too long editing the vlog or video for December 6th. Um, that was because I added all of the music and had everything perfect with transitions, or at least, you know, as perfect as I get with these. Um, and then it discarded everything for some reason. So I had to close the program and go back through and do everything all over again, which was quicker the second time because I'd already figured out what I wanted, which was nice, but it did take much longer than it needed to. So that should be ready for uh, the morning of December 6th though, so that's good. Um, so now I will spend the rest of my evening working on paperwork, because um, I really gotta go take a shower and get ready for bed pretty soon. It's almost 10 o'clock um, and I like to go to bed by 11. So we're gonna be doing some paperwork. Um, I'm happy that I did this spinning though that made me very happy uh and then i might try to do one more crochet <laughs> crochet one more block before i get ready for bed too um yeah good morning friends um i am pretty groggy <laughs> i didn't sleep great um it was storming last night but that's really not i think the issue the issue is more um, OB, I don't, I think his stomach's a little upset, although you wouldn't know it by all of the crashing around he's doing right now. But I, need to, I had to let him out a million times last night um, and he keeps trying to drink a ton of water and so I'll give him pumpkin with his breakfast this morning. I gave him pumpkin last night, but in any case, I didn't sleep. <laughs> um, I don't know how much sleep I actually got. Babies, thank you. Um, so I don't, <laughs> I don't drink coffee in the morning typically. Um, I drink one cup of coffee a day, um, and not every day and it's always in the afternoon, but, um, I might have some coffee this morning, <laughs> but I'll have a big glass of water first, I think. Um, yeah. And, uh, I'll show you what coffee I'm thinking of. Some of our friends got it. Um, and then left it here and just told us we could just have it. Um, and so uh, it's fun coffee. <laughs> I'll show it to you in a second. Hello all, um, I am at the doctor's now. I um, twisted my foot mm, three weeks ago, three or four weeks ago. And um, yeah, I, I just twisted it in the parking lot at work and it has been hurting ever since then. So I figure three or four weeks later, it's still hurting. I should probably just go ahead and go to the doctor um, just to make sure, I don't, I'm sure nothing's broken, but um, I want to make sure nothing is torn. Um, if I need to wear like a boot for a little bit or something, then that's fine. I, I don't mind doing that. I just, I've broken that foot five times now, not exaggerating. If you're interested in the chronicles of my five time broken foot, I'd be happy to share with you, <laughs> if, you if you're really interested. But anyway, I've, I've been injured enough. I don't need to be injured again. Um, yeah, I just want to take care of it if, if there's something wrong. Um, this Thursday, I'm teaching a dance class and a yoga class so if I'm going to boot, that'll make that a little harder, but that's fine. Whatever I need to do. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go in so I'm not late. Okay, so that was okay. Um, it doesn't look like anything is broken, so that's nice. Um, I didn't really think it would have been because it didn't really feel like a break. I've broken it a lot. <laughs> Um, but it does look like it's probably torn. So, um, he said this particular tear does take quite a long time to heal. 
So I'm going to go pick up a brace um, so that it can't roll around um, the way that it got injured to begin with. So I think my nose <laughs> has the thing from the mask. Um, yeah, so I'll just wear a brace for, I think, a few weeks. He's going to call me and tell me how long because um, he didn't tell me while I was there. <laughs> so I asked his nurse. Um, and we'll see, or she might give me a call, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, so I'll be wearing a brace for a while, uh, which should be fine. Um, and basically I just don't do anything that hurts. Um, yeah, so that was good. Um, I will now run some errands. I think I might go grab a coffee because I actually went through that whole ordeal of making two different coffees this morning, and then I didn't drink either of them, really. So... Yeah, the espresso that I made, I used um, <clears throat> the like old ground beans that had been like in a little storage thing for quite a while. And then I put too much of the creamer and the creamer was like sugar free. And like, so anyway, it just didn't, ended up not tasting great. So I might doctor it for later for this afternoon or for tomorrow, but um, it's not great. <laughs> so it might get turned into maybe some iced coffee for tomorrow. It might become iced coffee. Um, and I can add more coffee to it, like tastier coffee to kind of mask <laughs> the taste. So yeah, I might go grab a Starbucks um, and have a little treat today. Uh, and then I'm gonna get groceries and what else am I doing? Going to Lowe's because I need to get little grippy things for the feet of the new sofa. Um, and then some other things too at Lowe's. So, yeah, I think it'll be good. I'm gonna run some errands this morning. So, I am home from my errands. I was able to find little grippy thingies for the feet of the sectional. Um, yeah, and I went to the grocery, I did all kinds of stuff. So, oh, you can see my reflection of the phone in the background in the microwave. That's funny. Um, so let's see. Now I am making some cabbage soup. Uh, I'll show that to you guys. You may have just seen like a tiny bit of it before it had all of its ingredients. Um, I'll show it to you again now that it has all its ingredients. So I'm trying to lower it down to be more of a low simmer um, for a bit, um, but... Yeah, this is my soup that I've got going on. Um, it has an entire cabbage um, and tomatoes. I just did some like diced tomatoes. Uh, some vegetable. Do I have another pack of it? I'm using, I like the Herb Ox brand for, for broth seasoning. Um, this is the vegetable bouillon one. Uh, and I am doing some more meat at the moment. Um, I don't really eat much meat typically, but I am doing a little bit more right now, partially for Alex. Um, and then partially like my body feels like it does need a little bit more meat right now. So usually I follow more of a pescatarian kind of lifestyle, but I'm doing a little bit more meat. I do get eth ethically sourced meat though. Um, so that helps. Uh, yeah, so I've got bacon in here and um, ground beef. And I told you about the seasonings and the tomatoes. Uh, I also put some like Italian herb seasoning mix in here. But yeah, it's just like, it's just chock full of cabbage. <laughs> it's an entire cabbage. Um, yeah, so this will sit for quite a while. Um, technically the meat and everything is cooked now so i mean it's safe to eat now but um i'll let it sit for a little bit more i'll get a snack i think before i chomp on this um and this will be enough soup to keep me for quite a while i might freeze half of this <laughs> and when i say i tend to be pescatarian um it's really without getting to a whole long explanation about it i tend to eat um, seafood or wild game um, or uh, animal products from farms in our area that like are ethically done or uh, if I can buy it 
ethically done at a store, that's okay too. I don't mind that. But um, yeah, it's mostly due to me not wanting to support like big scale factory farming stuff. Um, yeah, it's mostly that. <laughs> um, I do feel better too, like when I don't eat a whole bunch of like red meat and things. Um, but uh, yeah, it's mostly because, um, okay, I started to get rambly. So uh, yeah, basically I feel more comfortable doing wild game or um, like uh, animal products or animals from small local places that or family um, or family farms uh, like my family uh, where I know how the animals are being treated um, yeah basically that's it so that's why I tend to for sometimes uh, a lot of the time of the year um, I just eat a lot of seafood um, or like eggs from the farm or something. Um, but yes, right now we don't really have any game. We are out, uh, we haven't gone hunting yet this year. We probably will at some point, but we haven't, so we don't really have tons of wild game. Um, well, we were out. <laughs> it's not that we don't have tons, we don't have any. We're out, we ate it all. Um, and uh, so, but we are needing some meat um, in our diets at the moment, particularly Alex. So I'm just buying some from the store, but I'm trying to buy uh, ones that I feel better about, um, like from smaller farms that, uh, are, yeah, I'm not going to get rambly. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I really, really wish you could smell this. It smells freaking amazing. And I don't know if you like cabbage. Um, I actually, over the years, I've come to like cabbage more. Uh, if you don't usually like cabbage, I would encourage you, if you would like to try it out, because um, cabbage has all sorts of great nutritional value, um, to try something like this, like a cabbage soup. The internet's full of good recipes. Um, this is closer to probably like a German recipe, um, at least based on my understanding. Uh, but there are lots of different recipes, um, and uh, it's really freaking good. <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't taste strongly cabbage-y. It's like all the best parts of the cabbage. So yeah, maybe experiment with it, uh, especially over the colder months of the year. It's cold and wet and foggy outside right now. So this is perfect soup for today. So I got these grippy things for the couch because these guys make the couch slide all over the place. Um, and I thought that this would help, but the problem is <laughs> we've got these little raised up thingies on the bottom. So um, yeah, so this just isn't working um, because this comes out farther than the little pads will go. And then if I try to put it directly over, um, it doesn't stick to it really. Um, so I just ordered some online that are small round ones. They're from Gorilla brand. So they're supposed to be really good. And then I can just put them on the little like round ends. Um, we'll see if that works better. Hopefully it will. I might have to return all of these, um, or at least all the unopened ones. I only I only opened one pack to experiment with it, and now I have like five other packs to take back to the store if, if this doesn't work, and I don't really think it'll work. I think we're gonna have to do the small round ones from the Gorilla brand. Um, oh well, it was an attempt. As I've been taste testing this, I have realized that it needed something so i have an onion this is a yellow onion um so i've added more salt molly desist please i've added more salt and seasoning to it and some more um like garlic powder and i think i'm gonna put some onion in there too for a little bit of a kick because for some reason all the flavors are just very mild in this batch um and i'll save the onion skins for some natural yarn dyeing later
right, so I'm at my office this evening and um, I'm getting ready for my next appointment. And um, this is something that I've been doing the last few months. I am doing a, basically a group um, at work that uh, incorporates fiber arts. So we've been doing mostly knitting and crocheting because that's what people were interested in for the most part um, up until now. But now uh, we're doing a special kind of project for today. Um, this is the last time this group will meet for this year and it will start back up in January. But uh, I wanted to do a really um, kind of fun project for today. Um, I asked everybody if they wanted to do it and they said yes, so I'm not forcing anybody to do this. I thought it'd be really fun to do felted ornaments. So I got um, some felting needles. I don't know if that is showing up super great, but it's not super interesting. It's five felting needles that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, I have some felting fiber in various colors. And I got some foam blocks. These are the only ones that I had. Um, Hobby Lobby was running out of them, I guess. I don't know. And I couldn't find a good alternative, but we should be able to make do um, with these. And I have these little squares of felt that I just got on Amazon like a year or two ago. <laughs> um, maybe. Yeah, probably a year or two ago. Various colors. And what we're going to do for the ornaments is people could just like free form it and that's fine. But I have all of these cookie cutters. I thought this might be cute. Um, there are probably tutorials for this online. I just had this idea the other day, but I've got all of these cute, like here's a little like gingerbread person. And um, that looks like it might be like an angel maybe. Yeah, you can see that a little bit better. Um, here, candy cane. There's debris on that one. I'm gonna clean that real quick. <laughs> a little bell. Yeah, I have 25, 18 different shapes. A little reindeer. So cute. A little ornament shaped one. That's very classic. A little snowman. So yeah, um, I'll just have everybody pick out what they want and um, we're gonna make little felted ornaments. I think it'll be really cute. Um, all that, like people could use this as a guide, um, which I think might be good just for finger protection. <laughs> so people aren't accidentally stabbing themselves with their felting needles. Um, so they can use this as a guide or they could use it as like a stencil and um, like trace along the outside of it with pencil um, cause that would wash out easily and, uh, do it that way. But I thought that it was a fun idea. So hopefully everybody enjoys it and, uh, has a good time with it.